Air, light, freedom, max. Okay, where the hell am I? If I heard right, we're at anchor in Cadiz. I'm sure I could sneak off somehow, but I've got to find Max. The kidnapper said he was at headquarters, but where? Maybe if I can find the container with the spare part that's being shipped there, I can follow the trail. This container has a white marking. This container has been marked with cyan. A container with a magenta marking. I can't open it or move it. I guess this crane is used to lift containers aboard. Portable scanner. A table with colored circles. There's a table with colored codes on the clipboard. Looks like a delivery schedule for the containers that are on board. The color code shows the ports where the cargo is discharged. When the color codes on the containers are scanned, the crane operator knows which containers he has to move on deck. Codes for the present routes are orange is discharged here in Cadiz, magenta goes to La Havre, white is unloaded in Rotterdam, and cyan stays on board. Phew, oh, yeah. they can't all be on shore leave, can they? Hard to imagine. The port of Cadiz. A red warning light. The lamp screwed to the ship's hull. The ladder leads up to the deck. I have to make sure no one sees me. If I stay behind the containers, the crew shouldn't notice. Looks like someone was working on this recently. Two gloves size XXL. idea what that's for. Mm. A screwdriver. Thick yellow crease. Smear that stuff on my hands? Why not in my hair as well? Mm. A screwdriver. I've taken it apart. The frame, the lamp, and the lamp shade. Must be something useful here. A red circular pane of glass. All right, I'll smear the yellow grease on the glass. I've smeared the red glass with yellow grease. Now it's orange and sticky. Oh, really? It's a long way. 
dam. Not even the cliff divers of Acapulco could make that one. Good. Sticks just fine. Charlie to Foxtrot. Charlie to Foxtrot. Are you sleeping or what, man? You missed one of the containers for unloading. Okay, get on with it. Doors sealed with a thin cable. I'll push the bar between the door and the cable and twist until it gives way. I wonder what it is. No bill of loading, no documents, no operating instructions. Damn! Wait a minute! This looks like some kind of touch screen. Real adventurers enjoy a challenge. Why not try out the difficult version for this task? Do you think you can handle it? I better not do that.
damn CERN, I know that. The particle accelerator. All stations ready. Request permission to begin test 12-3. Permission granted. And test 12-3 begins in 10 seconds. 9, 8, 7, 6. Five, four. Let's go, come on. Three, two, one, start. Test 12-3 failed. Never mind. Let's start over. Dispose of the antimatter byproduct. Another failure? We need the deuterium. Without deuterium, it simply will not work. There is no deuterium. Get over it and come up with something. Yes? Who? Nina Kalenko. She's either very brave or very stupid. Bring her here. Nina Kalenkov? Gruber's fiance? Just do your job. Where's Max? He's chilling out for now. Release him or the whole world will know what you're doing here. What is this machine? And why are you telling the whole world that it's a particle accelerator? We're just trying to protect interests. Whose interests? Well, certainly not those of the Chinese or North Koreans. So it's a weapon? We don't know yet, but we will. We have the advantage. And you'll do whatever it takes. Well spotted. You shouldn't have come here. Put her with the others so we can finally get on with this. Huh. Do you really think I'd come here without insurance? I've deposited the encrypted message and the plans with a friend. If I don't report in by tomorrow, copies will go to the police and the press. You're bluffing. You can't take that risk. Publishing the blueprints would endanger all of humanity. How can you know? You don't even know what the machine is for. Let Max and me go. I'll destroy the material and you can finish building your machine. Or are we really worth that much to you? Miss Galenkov, you may be the first person who has ever threatened me and lived to tell the tale. I agree to your terms. But if you're playing games with me, we will find you. Come with me. Step aside. What have you done with him? Is he... is he dead? Don't worry. He's just sleeping. I will begin the reanimation process. Stay there. My god. I didn't think... Who are you? Jane Cunningham. I'm CERN's chief of research. I'm very sorry about what you've been through. I hope you'll believe me when I say it was against my wishes. I see. You were so concerned, you quit your job in protest. There's never been a discovery like this. What we're doing here is going to change the world. This machine is incredible. It's not of human design. Who designed it? God? Pi is a constant. It didn't come into being, it just is, forever. It's older than the universe itself. Do you know what that means? It's a message from the dawn of time. You're crazy. I've seen the surveillance logs. I know you have nightmares. You've been dreaming about the Guardians. Lucky guess. Your fiancé isn't the only one who has studied the subject. 
Over the millennia, the Guardians have prevented humanity from uncovering the secret of Pi, with the help of a very powerful tool. Deuterium. Deuterium. Never heard of it. It's a particularly unstable and theoretical radioactive element. We even have a proposed spot for it on the periodic table. But as far as we know, it simply doesn't exist on this planet. Oh, in 30 or 40 years, it might become available as a byproduct of nuclear fusion reactors. But we need it now. The machine won't run without deuterium. You are going to contact the Guardians in your dreams and help us find them. You think? We believe that this machine could be capable of providing humanity with an unlimited supply of energy. Just imagine. No more war for oil or gas. So far, I'm unconvinced you people are the right ones to own the Monopoly. Forget it. 